Hey everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Leaf Green. My name's Cody and in the last exciting episode we wandered through the Sevi Islands looking for Team Rocket and here they are. Uh, Team Rocket of course has a level 48 Radita because they clearly have nothing better to do with their lives. Uh, like what even is this Radita? Why are you level 48 and not evolved? What are you doing? Oh good, and of course these Radita have these moves that are that are very annoying to anyone of any level. Um, you know, just just because that's what they do. So we got a Persian in the last episode, or we took it out of the we we took it took it out of a, a box uh, more specifically. Um, and I asked for some naming suggestions. There were a few so far. Uh, I liked Dog was one of the suggestions. I thought that was funny. Um, but we'll, we'll leave it a, a little bit. So we're going to switch over to Liam, the Venusaur, final form of Bulbasaur, mascot of Bulbapedia, your number one source for Pokemon news and information, uh, to use Earthquake. Because Earthquake wrecks Grimers. That's just a fact. That's just how the world works. So yeah, we've got, uh, this Team Rocket Grunt is not particularly imaginative. Um, but that's okay because I'm also not particularly imaginative in my use of moves. I've just decided why don't I just keep using Earthquake over and over again because oh no what is that? That raises evasiveness doesn't... oh it was just... A... it's okay. For a second I confused it with minimize and I was like no please don't do that please don't use that. There's a reason that's... there's a reason nobody likes evasiveness increasing moves. I think they're banned in competitive play. Uh, just because they're, not because they're overpowered, just because they're annoying. Uh, and it means that everyone would have to, everyone would have to have like a swift or equivalent where, uh, <clears throat> where it has full accuracy no matter what. So we brought in this Persian to the team so that it could use cut because, uh, see a rocket grunt, I don't feel the need to battle everyone. Except for this Pidgeotto. I had a max repel, but I forgot this Persian is actually not a particularly high level. Um, but that's okay. We'll switch in a Jolteon to deal with this Pidgeotto and make it a Pidgey not O. Let's see how critically effective that time was. Ooh, it was super effective. Bye, Pidgey not -o. Ooh, Team Rocket. More like Team Waste of My Time. You're just gonna keep... Oh, a warehouse! A warehouse, do you say? A Team Rocket warehouse! We, I think, have a secret... We have a secret. Uh, we have a password to the Team Rocket warehouse. So, it's like about... Someone in a log. I remember a log. Um, I think Goldeen. Goldeen tried to eat a log or something. Look, I'm. I don't remember. I'll, I'll remember when it comes to it. I don't know why Goldeen tried to eat a log. Maybe it just needed. whatever kind of nutrients you get from a tree. Alright, so this is not good. I was leveling up that Persian. But that's fine. That's fine. When all else fails, as they say, try force. Or more specifically, try attack. That's what I thought. Coughing more like coughed its last breath. Oh, wheezing more like wheeze. Sick burns right here in the land of, uh, of Cody. Alright, so we're gonna use Surf uh, because I believe Earthquake would be super effective, but I think uh, Weezing is a physical tank, so I switched into a, a special type user. Um, I might have that the wrong way around, but it seems like that was quite effective, so I think I was right. Um, so that's alright. Lapras Lazuli cleans up. 
And we defeat Team Rocket Grunt. More like Team Rocket Dumb. Uh, let's see what's in here. Gordy need log. Ah, so we need another password. So what we're going to do is, uh, I think the next password is on a different island. So we could go to a different island, but I'm also curious what's going on over here. Oh, it's bird people. Oh good, it's level 47 Pidgey. That's good. Did... Why... I mean, I know it always happens, but I'm still continuously upset that the AI is so bad at Pokemon raising. Like... It's not that difficult, it's not that difficult to just evolve your Pokemon. Actually, it takes more effort to not evolve your Pidgey. Like, you had to consciously put in effort to stop Pidgey from evolving to make your team purposely weaker. What do you have to say to that bird keeper, Milo? Oh, I am so sharp. I have, I have used my sharp observation skills once more. Uh, looks like there's just a bunch of trainers here. I'm not interested in trainers, I'm interested in winning. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fly to... hold on, what's over here? Oh, that's Four Island. I see. So let's just uh, teleport Mario for now. Sorry, teleport Mario, I think, is the, is the quote. Um, because some people refer to Mario as Mario because they don't know how to pronounce names. Alright. Let's head to Six Island. I believe Six or Seven Island are the ones that have that second key we need to open the, open the rocket warehouse door. Hoi there, where do you want to sail? We want to travel to Six Island. All aboard Sea Gallop High Speed 6. That was quick. Six Island, let's see what we got here. Six Island, Fortune Island of Age to Wisdom. Welcome to Six Island, Fortune Island of Age to Wisdom. Yeah, hello. Oh, we get to the water park. Ooh, and that takes you to Ruin Valley, which you always know is a good sign. Uh, if Hello, Mel. You're not going to fight me in a Pokemon Center, are you? Alright, that's fine. As long as you're not... As long as you're not going to fight me in a Pokemon Center, then you can do whatever you want, Emil. Hmm, did you know there are still others? Po some Pokemon only evolve when traded while holding specific items. Yeah, I think that's... What, like, Porygon? Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like me to heal your Pokemon back to back effect health? I would. Specifically, my Persian. My kitty, kitty, kitty cat. Oh, uh, uh, no. No, I don't. I don't actually want that right now because you actually just healed me. What's in the Mart? Or who's in the march? I don't know why I'm saying march. I should buy some mail and write him a letter. Play with Pokemon lots and live a long life. Take Agatha for example. She set a record for being the oldest ever Elite Four member. That's quite a record. Uh, oh yeah, while I'm here, I need to press the correct button. Um, where is this Max? Max Repel. Um, I'm basically going to spend all my remaining money on Max Repels because they are the most important thing in the game. That's just a fact. What's down here? There's nothing that young people would find exciting here in this island, but it's good in terms of nature and history. Oh, I love history and nature. Well, I, I do love history and nature. I'm not... I, for some... I felt like I, I sounded sarcastic there, but I really do enjoy history. It's uh, it's always fun to see who was killing who 
a thousand years ago? And the answer is everyone was killing each other because that's that's the way they roll. Or in some cases not roll. Nature's good too, but I like actually I like the sight of like big impressive like stone buildings more than I like the sight of impressive nature structures. It's just a just something something that, that I figured I'd mention is uh Big cool old buildings are cool. I went to Philadelphia recently and they had a big they had a big building in the center of town. It was like a town hall or whatever that was old and impressive looking. I liked it. This has been Cody's Visit to America Facts. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cody's Visit to America Facts. I should switch out Persian in front of the party. I should also get that XP share so I don't have to Sit him in front and then swap him out all the time because that's not going to be very fun for the let's play. Let's put in let's put in Hasho. Hasho hasn't seen any action in this episode. Hello. I think you're standing on one. Actually, you're standing on a mountain around these parts. Hiker Earl. Whatever. You've got an onyx. I've got a brick break. Onyx, more like almost dead X. Yeah, that didn't quite work. Let's try that. Onyx, more like completely dead X. That's more like it. That's more like the puns that we know and love. That's not actually a pun. That was a pun. Actually, has to have some be some sort of like play on words. It has to have some sort of cleverness involved. What I do is simply replace part of their name with the word dead. Oh, that's going to be... It's going to be a bit harsh, but that's alright. Let's use a second brick break. Hopefully it doesn't take him to 1 HP. Nope, it finished him off. He must have had like an even number of health or something like that. That raises Hashel to level 50. And it means that uh, we are pretty cool. You're standing on a map. Look, look at this. See this? I can't walk through here. That's because it's a mountain. That's how you know it's a mountain. You can't walk through it. Um, don't actually take my advice there because that would mean that you just walk through. You'd just be walking through fences and things saying, I found a mountain. Um, which doesn't sound like a good use of anyone's time. Alright, uh, so what we have to do is... We get this puzzle a lot, don't we? Or this basic kind of puzzle. I say that and then... No, I figured it out. One sunstone. Cool, we can evolve our Eevee into a Flareon, except we won't because we've already got a Jolteon and Jolteon is the coolest form of Eevee. So, Eevee. Some people say it's Umbreon. Uh, that's because they're wrong. That's because they're objectively wrong. There's a... Oh, I wish Repel would auto... Would, yeah, auto restore itself. Uh, that's a feature of older games that I quite liked. Alright, it looks like there's going to be some uh, sneaking, so I'll do that in the next exciting episode. See you then.